Okay, perfect timing. This is the second take on this, and it just so happens that it is almost identical. I actually really like that they moved the hood vent down here. It'll actually do something. Well, it's great to know that I'm not the only Honda owner here. Check this S2000 out. It's hot. I'm sweaty. I gotta wash some cars. Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome back to the channel. I got a car show tomorrow. I got a clean black diamond. I got a clean blue. And not only are we gonna clean blue, I got some seat covers. A lot of you guys have been asking for them. Okay, perfect timing. This is the second take on this. And it just so happens that it is almost identical. Uh, unbelievable, unbelievable. So let, let me show you guys something, right? See that bug right there? Oh, that's a pretty bug, isn't it? A pretty bug. Oh, what a pretty bug. Isn't it a pretty bug? Oh, just look at it. Look how pretty it is. That, my friends, is a spotter lanternfly. And this is what I want you to do if you ever come across one of these. Ready? Let me show you. <laughs> oh, I heard him at least. Got him. Let me show you. Now you might be asking me, Miller, why would you kill such a beautiful bug? Those spotter and lantern flies are everywhere. And I mean everywhere. They eat trees. If you see them, you kill them. If you see them in Pennsylvania, you are to kill them. I'll show you right here, look, look. Look at this, right here. Check it out, right here. So I'm not an evil guy by any means. I like certain bugs. You gotta kill them, you gotta kill them. They destroy trees, we'll lose our environment. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I don't care about global warming. I care about the spider and lantern flies being dead. Cause they're gonna kill us well before global warming will. They're gonna take all of our oxygen, all of our H2, H2O. They're gonna take all of our oxygen, killing all the trees. Let me know if you have them in your state. And if you do, do you have the same laws that we do? Let me know in the comments. And it just so happens, this is crazy. This is the second take on that. As I was filming the introduction, that happened. And then I wanted to do another take on it and it happened again. <laughs> I told you, they're everywhere. Now back to the video. I, like I said, I think about we're having a car show at work tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I said all that. And then I think while we're wiping the Type R down, we're gonna go over the 11th gen Type R. I don't know why everybody's in such a fuss about it. I really don't. I think it's a beautiful looking car. Is it not as aggressive looking as the 10th gen? Of course. Does it look really similar to the 11th gen? Of course. Why would people think it wouldn't? But we'll get to that while we wipe her down. It's hot. I'm sweaty. I'm gonna try to cool down as I'm wiping these cars down from getting all that overspray. Let's go. Gave me a bottle of this. I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it on the screen here. 
but apparently it's really good. You gotta put it on when it's wet. So now the blue is cleaned off and she's just wet. You gotta put this on and then you gotta spray it back off. Kinda interesting. So I'll try it out in the hood, see how it works before I do the whole car. He gave me this sponge. Apparently you're supposed to put it on with a sponge. Now I did try it dry. Didn't work out very well. Apparently the water agitates it, which activates it. Agitates it, activates it. Try it, see how it works. Apparently you can put it on glass, plastic, doesn't matter. All right, let's spray it off, see what it looks like. I will say this, it beads up really, really nice. Huh. Pretty cool, guys, pretty cool. All right, I'll just do the whole car. Well, I can say for certain, it beads extremely well. Now, what it would look like after that? Wow, I'm actually pretty impressed with this stuff. I was actually pretty surprised how well that stuff just sprayed right off. I mean, it helps that I have a really high powered hose. And I know if you go to a regular car wash, it's gonna cost a lot of money. But my buddy told me it comes off really easy with just a regular hose. All right, on Black Diamond, I'm gonna use some Chemical Guy Synthetic Quick Detailer. I love this stuff. I probably don't even need to use it. I use it every time I wash her. But let's talk about the 23R. I really wanna know what you guys think in the comments. I'm hearing mixed opinions from everybody. Me personally, I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. I like the fact that it still has the fender flares. I also like the fact that these vents actually do something. I don't like the fact it doesn't have fog lights. I also don't like the fact it doesn't come with a lower lip. I actually really like that they moved the hood vent down here. It'll actually do something. One thing I am happy about is they went from the 20s to the 19s. Now I still believe they're running a 235-30 19 tire instead of the 235-30-20, which is good. A little cheaper of a tire but they're still with the 30s. That's why a lot of people went to the 18s. So, if I do end up going that route, I'll end up uh, throwing these on the 11th gen. Oh, if you want to know why this wheel's messed up, uh, the dealer ended up spinning the socket halfway in and snapped the lug nut in half, and they had to drill the stud out, and in doing so, they ended up messing up the wheel a little bit. The side skirts. I'm glad they kept the side skirts. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of with the community on the rear of the car looking like a stinger. One of the biggest topics is the spoiler. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not gonna say I like it better than this one, but I will say I like it better the first appearance than this one. It took me a while to warm up to this one. It brought back the three pipe exhaust. I'm indifferent on it really. I like it. it doesn't really matter to me. They could have went a pipe on either side too. No big deal. Under the hood, not much is changing, I don't think. It's supposed to be a little faster. Right here on the end of that pipe, there's this little square. Apparently that's supposed to let the heat out a little bit quicker. That'll let it go out the vent, which is actually meant to do something. If I had to guess, 315, 320. I really don't see it much faster than that. I could be wrong. Now the interior, the couple things I don't like. I don't think I like the red carpet. I'll have to wait and really see. And I don't like the fact they didn't do anything with the steering wheel. I don't understand. I like the fact that they have the Type R seats in there again. And the thing I really like is the infotainment center. 
Black Diamond is almost finished and ready to rock and roll. The only thing I need to do to her yet is shine the tires. But I'm gonna do that first thing in the morning because I gotta run home. I'm hot and sweaty. It's already 10.30 at night. So I'm gonna be back here at 6 a.m. to put the seat covers in blue. Well, for you, just like that, I'm back. All right, blue is all cleaned up. All I gotta do is throw the seat covers in her. I got about a half hour to do it. Black Diamond is completed. She's ready to rock. I also have another thing I wanna throw on, but I don't know if I have time. If I don't have time in this video, I'll do it in the next one. So I'm just gonna time lapse you through it, all right? Let's go. Now I'm on a seat cover guy. So I don't know if I'll keep him in the car or not. Just so you know, I'm not a seat cover guy. I'm doing this for you guys. All right, so it looks like you gotta take the back seat out, which isn't a problem. A little tab there you just pull it out okay and the seat lifts up so i'm not going to take it out the whole way but it's going to take it out enough that i can wrap the thing around the bottom you got to wrap this around the bottom snap it together You should actually take the back seats out completely to do this. Unfortunately, I'm on a time crunch, so I'm just gonna kinda put them in here. What do you think? Do you like them? Do you not like them? They are universal. They're not specific for this car, but I'll tell you right now, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. The fitment's not that great. You can't even adjust the straps, which I don't understand on a universal seat cover. You can't adjust the straps. Doesn't make any sense. I highly recommend, if you, if you do get these, I recommend taking the back seats out and putting them in. Um, now, I did fly through it. I didn't take a bunch of time to do it, so they might fit better. But again, at the beginning of the video, I said I wasn't a big fan of seat covers. So until they come out with some specific for the 11th Gen Civic, I'm not gonna waste my time with seat covers again. But in saying that, since I don't want them, do one of you, let me know in the comments below. You gotta like this video, you gotta be a subscriber, and you gotta leave a comment saying, I'll take those seat covers. All right, it's time to take Blue and Black Diamond out to the show. Well, it's great to know that I'm not the only Honda owner here. Check this S2000.
hope you guys enjoyed that little car show montage. We had about 157 cars. It was the most we've had over the five years of us holding this car show. So thank you to everybody who showed up. Now it is the next day. Hannah's here with me to pick up Blue. And I had the time to do what I didn't get to do before the car show. Let me know if you guys can point it out in the comments. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. And as always, this was your boy Miller. I'll see you in the next one. Have you ever seen one of these? If you're not in PA, you might have never seen one. If you see one of these bugs, this is exactly what I want you to do. Ah, oh, you little evasive little bugger. You really want to get them from the front for some reason? From the front, they don't jump. See, I don't know why. They got eyes in the back of their head, I guess. Now, as you can see, I kind of missed my footing there with the camera. You couldn't see my foot when I went after him the last two times. See? Told you.